Hi guys, welcome to this 19th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to configure the USART module of the PIC microcontroller using MPLAB code configurator. In tutorial 14, the RS232 serial communication we use the PIC18F peripheral libraries to configure the OSART module. In this tutorial, we're going to simplify everything using the MPLAB code configurator. Let us create a project to receive some command from the PC to switch on three LEDs connected to port B of PIC18F26K20. Whenever the PIC microcontroller receives a 1, it's going to switch on the red LED. Whenever it receives a 2, it's going to switch on the yellow LED. And whenever it receives a 3, then it's going to switch on the green LED. Anything else, all the LEDs will be switched off. We have started a new project. Let's start MPLAB code configurator tools. Embedded MPLAB code configurator. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set our system's clock settings. We're going to use the internal oscillator. We're going to use 8 MHz internal oscillator. The oscillator switch over mode, going to disable it. So we're going to use the internal oscillator block port function on RA6 and RA7. The fail safe clock monitor, we're going to disable it. Gonna leave this at their default. Default. And the other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disable our MCLR pin. And we're gonna say put B pins are configured as digital input output on reset. Okay, that's all for our clock settings. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna configure our input output pins to connect our LEDs. Double click, pin manager. The package that we are using, we are using the deep package. Okay, let us enable three pins where we are going to connect our three LEDs. I am going to click on pin 0, pin 1 and pin 3. All these pins will be output pins. So I am going to tick output. I am going to give them a customized name. The first one, I am going to name it red. The second one is going to be yellow. And the last one gonna name it green enter and that's all guys for our pins configuration the last thing is to configure our SART module we're gonna use the SART asynchronous click our board rate we're gonna leave it at 9600 transmission bit we're gonna leave it at 8 reception bit we're going to leave it at 8 as well. The clock polarity is going to remain non-inverted. We're going to enable the OSART. We're going to enable transmit. If you want to enable wake up, you pick microcontroller to wake up. Whenever it receives anything on the OSART module, then you can enable this configuration. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to enable continuous receive. And that's all, guys. This all for this configuration. You can see it's very easy whenever you're using MPLAB code configurator. You can do all your configuration graphically. And we're going to generate our code. Click on generate. It says MCC detected you do not have a main.c file. Would you like to generate one? Yes. Going to need one. And the code is generated successfully. Let's go to our project. These are the files that were generated. We've got our main.c file and we've got the MCC generated files. We've got th three files. The MCC.c is the configuration bit. The pin manager, pin initialization. And the usart.c is the initialization of our usart functions that we're going to use in this tutorial. And in the header files, We've got the pin manager, which has got the pin micros that we're going to use. And the usart.h, these are the functions that we're going to use. The usart initialize, the usart read, and the usart write. Let's go through our usart generated functions. The first function is the usart initialize. 
He said, this routine, inshallah, says the Usart driver, this routine must be called before any other Usart routine is called. So before we do anything, this function has to be called first. And luckily we don't have to do anything because in the main.c file generated by our code configurator has already included all these files for us. We've got the system initialized. If I can navigate to it declaration, you can see this is the function. The usart initialize is already called. So we don't have to do anything unless you created your own main C dot file. Then you must not forget to call this function. The second function is usart read. It says this routine reads a byte of data from the usart module. And it says before you use this function, the usart initialize function should have been called before calling this function. The transfer status should be checked to see if the receiver is not empty before calling this function. And the last function is usart write. It says this routine write a byte of data to the usart. And it says the usart initialize function should have been called before calling this function. The transfer status should be checked to see if the transmitter is not busy before calling this function. So that's all guys. These are the only functions generated by MPLab code configurator. Let's go to our main C function and write our code. It's already created a template of our main C file. And in the while one loop, then we can start writing our code here. Whenever we switch on our microcontroller, it's gonna send a message to the USART module. Welcome to studentcompanion.co.za day. And on the second line, it's gonna send a text message. Press one for red LED, two for yellow LED, and three for green LED. And because our usart write function can only send a byte of data, so we're gonna create a simple function that is gonna enable us to send a strings of data instead of just one byte. So let us create a function. We're gonna name our function send strings. It's gonna send a strings of data in a while loop byte by byte until all the strings are sent. And this is a data character variable. We're going to use this variable to read a byte of data from our PC. So let us write a code to send a text message to our PC. We're going to send welcome to studentcompanion.co.za day. Then we're going to do the second line. After a delay of 500 milliseconds, we're going to send another string. Press 1 for red LED, 2 for yellow LED, and 3 for green LED. Then in the while one loop, waiting for a command from our PC, we're going to use switch case statement to evaluate which command was sent from our PC. If you will receive a 1, then we're going to switch on our red LED, red set high. This is just a function which was generated by us by the MPLab code configurator. If you click on pin manager.h, we can see the couple of micros generated to us by MPLab code configurator. There is red toggle. This is basically to toggle our LED. Red set low is just to send a zero to port P0, which is basically to switch off whatever is connected to port P0. And red set high, you can see it's just to send a one to port B. So instead of using let B0 equals to one, we're just gonna call this micro red set high and red set low to switch it off. So the first case, if we receive a one, then we're gonna switch on the red LED and switch off the yellow and the green. And if you receive a two, we're gonna switch on only the yellow LED and switch off the rest. And if you receive a three, then we're gonna switch on only the green LED and switch off the rest. And if you receive anything else, then we're going to switch off everything. Let us build our project. It's built successful. Let's go to our simulation. Let's start. It says, welcome to studentcompanion.co.za day. Press 1 for red LED, 2 for yellow LED, and 3 for green LED. We're going to use the Microsoft Virtual Keyboard 
to send some command to our peak microcontroller we're gonna send the one you can see the led switch on and if we send the two then the yellow led switch on if we send the three then the green led switch on and if i can send anything else besides one two three all the leds will be switched off but if i send the two or a three a one then you can see our microcontroller respond accordingly and switch the relevant leds as you can see guys it's very easy and straightforward to use mplab code configurator is generate all the functions that you're gonna use for that particular peripheral if you select the usart peripheral then mplab code configurator is gonna generate a relevant function that you're gonna be able to access that peripheral if you select any other peripheral like spi r squared c or anything else then the code configurator is gonna generate the functions accordingly thank you guys for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.